Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. This is Russ. Today we're working on bench. It's a yet another bench day. Um, slight variation to this bench day. We're going to be doing just as many triples as possible. So this first set here, uh, just trying to stay in the rep range, about three to four. Uh, obviously I hear I hit three. Uh, basically my goal with this workout is just to try to work on my form. So I want to keep my back tight. I want to keep my shoulders retracted and try not to flare my elbows out too much, injuring my shoulder. So you see, I'm firmly planted in the bench. Uh, my feet planted on the ground, ass planted on the bench, and I was able to hit three plates, excuse me, three reps quite easily. Continuing, I just add a little bit more weight and continue to hit triples. So just one rep, two rep, three reps. And you'll see as I progress, it's going to get a little bit heavier and the reps are going to be a little bit slower. But basically what I'm trying to achieve is maintaining my good form while still increasing the weight. Now this is a really interesting point. See how this guy next to me is just dropping the bar on his chest? That's exactly what you don't want to do. That's how you're going to injure your shoulder, break a rib, crack a sternum. Yeah, he's moving big weight, but ultimately he's doing the movement very wrong so this is a drop set uh, I kind of hit my hit a plateau there I was uh, falling into the double range so decided to lighten the weight up hit another triple uh, like I talked about in another video usually when you're struggling try to hit a drop set usually helps you recover now I'm going up to 225 now again this is what I was talking about earlier I'm just trying to preserve my good form while using a little bit heavier weight uh, as you can see, locking in my leg drive, uh, you know, my stance is a little bit unconventional, uh, but this is how I've had, the, you know, the most success with my bench, flexing my lats there. And you see the bar comes up pretty quickly, going down real slow, don't want to injure myself. There's one rep, and there's two, uh, almost, almost hitched right there, but I was able to get a double, unfortunately I was not able to get a triple this time. I really am confident that my next workout, I'm going to hit a triple. Uh, for everybody watching at home, it's important to keep in mind, you know, you just got to keep that form tight. Even if you're going to miss your reps, got to keep the form tight. It's going to help as far as helping you reach those maximum gains. Don't know what you're looking for. All right, so here is another set of me trying to attempt a triple. So again, moving the bar very slowly. Some people ask why I kind of bring the bar down so slow, but that's just where I am the most comfortable. I really don't feel comfortable when I'm, the bar is flying down at my chest. So here's a little bit of accessory work. Uh, just gonna hit the biceps. Uh, after my bench, I usually do a close grip, uh, just kind of maxing out that uh, isolation on my triceps. So I figured, hey, why not hit some isolation on the buys? I'm not the biggest fan of this machine, but I just wanted to get a pump in. Um, again, I always talk about accessories really just helping you in the big three. So this muscle isolation is just going to continue to help me grow. So here what I'm doing is trying to get as many reps as possible in the full range. And then once I feel myself getting a little bit tired, I'm kind of going um, just less than 90 degrees and just flexing from there with the weight. Uh, this is gonna be in increments of up to, I think it was like 90 pounds on this machine. Um, it, it's always weird using different machines because sometimes the increments can be different. But as you can see, it, it's, it's not difficult. I'm just kind of concentrating on keeping my elbows stable and isolating on the full bicep. So you see again, this is a little bit lighter weight. I did a back offset, uh, dropping the weight just to kind of increase that hypertrophy. Uh, as you can see, I'm not the most vascular guy, but I'm, I'm definitely trying to get the pump in. Here, I tried to switch the grip up a little bit just to try to hit the biceps from a different angle. Obviously, that wasn't working, so I went back to my original grip. Again, important to keep in mind, keep your elbows down low, tight, and just preserve that good form. Well, this next clip is just my uh, last set. I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. For all my Kilo fans out there, remember to rate, subscribe, and comment below. I'll see you again soon. Thanks.